Now, as the 2023 election approaches and candidates for the country's top job emerge uh, gradually, several groups are also calling for who they feel will lead Nigeria to its uh, days of uh, better future ahead uh, and uh, better growth for the economy and all of that. The Citizens Unite, a pressure group inaugurated to urge Vice President Yemi Oshibajo to join the race for the presidency in 2023, is already uh, calling for him to join the race. The group's convener, Dr. Mariam Shetima, says Nigeria is in need of thoroughbred individuals who are professionals, uh, loyal politicians, intellectuals, and emphatic citizens uh, that will be at the helm of affairs. Now, this group says it will not stop until Vice President Yemi Oshibajo declares his intention because they feel that he represents uh, women more, he will give more opportunities for women to emerge ahead of a potential female Nigerian president. Uh, well, I have uh, Dr. Mariam Shetima, who is a convener of that group, still here with me. And I come to you, Dr. Shetima. Let's talk more on why uh, you are not conversing for a woman president. Instead, you feel that uh, Professor Yemi Oshibajo <laughs> I mean, should stand in uh, and represent your idea. Thank you for giving me that idea. But um, we just finished discussion about uh, ladies being marginalized already. So I don't think we are yet there. I think even globally, this is not just a Nigerian issue or African issue. It's a global issue. Women are underrepresented in every aspect of leadership. So right now, we, we need Nigeria. We, we, we need a Nigeria where everything would be just the way every citizen wants it to be. We want a Nigeria where the basic amenities of life would be avail made available, healthcare system, education, whatever it is you can think of. And um, we have assessed and analyzed a lot of people in leadership uh, over time. And um, the cap doesn't fit anyone more than it fits um, Professor Emi Osibanjo, I'm delighted to see. So um, it's, it's not just a, a one-off thing. It's something that had been carefully analyzed and um, yeah, I mean, debated. Some will also tell you that, I mean, as part of the International Women's Day celebration, you should have um, united around a man, uh, sorry, a woman that can um, help address issues. So are you saying that, for example, you're conversing for Yemi Oshibajo to come out, and if he does come out and, for example, he gets the APC ticket, are you going to push for him to have a woman as a vice president, since you're not pushing for a woman, for, uh, for a woman to actually okay, be the that, that is, that is a APC. very interesting uh, prospect. And it's something is a is, is a hurdle we'll have to cross when we reach that um, aspect. But at the moment, uh, we are asking for him to really come out because uh, we believe he's someone that has the best interests of women again in his heart um, and uh, Nigerian citizens at large. So um, at the moment, we really really plead with him to come out, and we are calling him in a very loud voice to to really come out and contest. Yeah, for and the presidency. why would you be pleading with him? I mean, <laughs> he's a politician. If he decides not to contest, isn't it within his this rights? This is a service to the nation. So we, we are calling him to come and serve. He's, he's a public servant. So this is what people should always understand. You know, leadership is not about just um, being on, on, on some uh, glamorous seat and just uh, uh, giving out orders and, and just enjoying yourself. It's a service to the nation, service to your citizens. It's patriotism. And uh, whatever it is that somebody has that could bring the further development to this nation, then they, they should really come forth and, and, and participate and, and make that happen. Yeah, and Vice President Yemi Shibanjo has been in this government for eight years. Um, a lot of Nigerians have expressed their dissatisfaction with several aspects of the APC, saying that they haven't done a lot, providing electricity. It's a very bad thing right now. Providing Th that electricity? We, yeah, we can't have um, fuel to buy and all of that. Why should someone from this government still be allowed to have another eight years? I, I beg to disagree on that entirely. I feel this is something that has been happening may maybe for the past um, maybe a little less than a week. So I don't think that should be f that would well, be fair. The, the, the first situation has been on for about uh, two, three weeks. But now. I have foil my car right now. Sorry, I'm not being <laughs> conceited. But I think okay. it's all ebbing out. I think uh, uh, majors have been taken seriously to make sure these problems are properly addressed and um, there should be availability of fuel everywhere. The Vice President, Professor Emir Supajo, has um, called on the uh, union of the uh, fuel providers and NPC and the management of NNPC, and I'm sure a lot is being done to address that, which is part of what we like about him in leadership. And uh, He's always quick to act. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's, 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 he's humble. He's a man's people. He's a um, um, man of the people. Okay, we, so what are the... 
potential things uh, or agenda you will be setting for him if he indeed decides to come out and uh, contest uh, for the ticket of the All Progressives Congress? What are the specific things that you'll be setting as an agenda for him? And then how will you be going about to ensure that, uh, you know, he gets the APC ticket? Uh, well, um, there are the delegates to think of at first. So uh, everyone's talking to their delegates and their wards and um, local governments and um, state levels. So um, it always starts from there. You are very much aware of the political structures. And it, it's never too much. Anybody, anywhere should somehow contribute in that aspect. To, because we are not doing politics of money. We're not. <laughs> we, we, yeah, 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 absolutely. In the Nigeria of we, today. <laughs> exactly. We're not selling out our votes. Because we can't be bought. We have to ensure that the right people get the right places in leadership positions. Yeah, so what particular agenda will you be setting for him as uh, he heads Oh, there, to, are, there are plenty uh, of them. The if, if he decides indeed to run. If he does decide to run, there would be... You mean when he wins or... Yeah, before. I mean, before he wins the APC ticket, yeah, I mean, there, there, there are some ideals that you set for him to help tackle Nigeria's problems we, here and there. Yeah. Uh, what What are those things that you think makes uh, Oshibanjo stands out? I mean, because we have so many his top persons who are also contesting for the ticket of the APC. We love his listening ear. He's very accessible. So anybody can reach out to him to complain about anything. I think it starts from there, identifying problems all the time and then seeking the appropriate ways to um, address them. So that, that's basically number one. And also the youth inclusion thing and the women inclusion. I feel um, he's somebody that's pretty much balanced and would do very much for, for, for women in general. Like today's International Women's Day and um, we, we are going to celebrate with him. It's, it also happens to be his birthday. Oh, so I guess this is one of the reasons that makes him quite compassionate towards women. <laughs> 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 Apart from his intellect and exposure, you know. So I, I believe um, he would go, that will go a long way in, um, in making sure women um, are carried along like they should be. And of course, the youth inclusion. There are very vibrant youths around him. He, he's always um, um, sort of, um, the youths always gravitate towards him, which I think is very critical and uh, inevitably shows um, what kind of a president he would eventually be when his turn comes. Okay. By God's grace. Now, what, what sort of uh, president do you envisage Nigeria to have in 2023 as we head to the polls? And why do you think uh, Oshibanjo represents some of those ideals? What are the youth groups in the APC, for example, talking about as to the reason why they would have to hand a ticket to a presidential candidate that meets all those yearnings? Yeah. And how do you think that Oshibanjo fits that bill of that ideal Nigerian leader for 2023? Okay, we like his, um, his, his unbiased nature, that he listens to people and listens to everyone and, and tries to, to be um, uh, sort of uh, just in whatever it is that he, he does. And um, his um, law background, being a professor of law, goes a long way in also ensuring that um, everything are legally carried out and um, everyone's right is properly um, protected. I believe those are some of the reasons. And uh, do you think that President uh, Muhammad Bouhari will support his uh, potential candidacy for the APC? Absolutely, <laughs> I'm a die-hard <laughs> President Muhammad Bouhari's fan. Okay, I've always been, and I and feel you think he will support Oshibanjo. By God's if grace, if Oshibanjo declares, yes, he's, he's, he's well, like his elder so brother. Optimistic. <laughs> I'm a naturally a very optimistic person. Um, people can always attest to that, and then the fact that. Um, and they've been working hand in hand for the past um, seven years and have known each other for quite a while. And I believe um, there are so many um, um, adjustments or implementations of um, certain kinds of programs that would somehow help in advancing this nation that have not been completed and would need somebody like um, Vice President Yemi Osibanju to carry on where President Muhammad Bahari stops. Okay. Yeah, we, we don't want have that a very disconnect. Huge task ahead. Uh, just very quickly, how have you been mobilizing other youth groups to, I mean, actually ensure that you, I mean, meet with him and ask him to actually come out? Because it's a huge task. Because we have an app <laughs> that mean, we develop. We have an app. A lot of people that, think that we he developed. may not come out, and oh, while really? some others think he may. So how it's do a you? National service. Will he will, he will have no choice but to answer. Hopefully, I, I'm sure he's not going to let us down at all. Uh, we, we are pleading and we'll continue to mount that pressure on him until he eventually comes out and declare that um, all right, he wants uh, to become the 
uh, next president by God's grace, and he has 100% uh, support. Okay, Dr. Shetima Amos, thank you so much for joining us on thank the Thank you so much for having me. Yeah.